I made a new friend. Huh? He's right there. Huh? He's oh, so he's, he's so cute. That was dumb. Hey guys, I'm Carrie. And I'm Mark. Where are we? Dangerfield State Park. Beautiful. Let's do it. And look, we made a new friend. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Carrie. I'm Mark. We are at Danger. I'm yelling. <laughs> I'm Mark. Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome to the Art of Arvine. We are at Dangerfield State Park this weekend. It is chilly. We're so excited. And we're going to have some fun yeah. as usual. If you are not a subscriber, become a subscriber and get some of these awesome videos. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks again for watching. We just really appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button like Mark had mentioned. And, and Instagram. Oh yeah, and Instagram. And also hit that little bell icon and that will let you know when we've uploaded new videos. And Yep, ring a dingy. Yeah, ring a dingy ding. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's go have some fun. So here we are at the camp store. Pretty cool. Now look at there. There's Carrie. What'd you get? Magnets. Oh, I like it. And a decal. Oh, that's nice. It's an awesome little store. And there we have Christy being all nice back there. Hey, Christy. Nice. Oh, ice cream. Look at this cute little photo album. It's, it's like wood. It's made out of wood. And it's got little pages. How fun is that? That's adorable. It is only 20 bucks. That's adorable. So they got their Christmas stuff out here. Check out this great ornament. Check out these stickers. Bloody good time. Alright guys, so here we are on the fishing pier. And lo and behold, look what we got over here. Hey, check it out! Look at your fish, man! I love it! It's so fun! This so we've got Officer King here to uh, hang on, Ranger King, hang on. <laughs> okay, so at Dangerfield State Park, look who I got today. I have Ranger King. Thank you, sir, for having Thanks. us here. My first question for you, sir, is about the campsite. Yeah, I actually have roughly about 55 sites. Um, pretty much our first one through site 10 are our premium sites. Um, from 11 to around 39, um, water and electric, mm -hmm. full hookup. Mm -hmm. um, from about 39 to 55 is water only. Um, three campgrounds, Big Pine is our premium. Um, we have the dogwood um, that's over on this end of the lake. Um, it's actually uh, 30 amp. And also the mountain view up here, full hookup with 50 amp. Uh, so uh, understand, are there any cabins available? Yeah, actually we have three. Uh, we have one a cabin one. It actually sleeps six people. Mm -hmm. um, and if they're you really like good each price. other. Yeah, if you like, if you each, like other, each other, six people. Yeah. So <laughs> and they're very affordable. I mean, eighty nine, ninety five, and nine. So it's very reasonable. Huh. Um, it's our six person. We have two four person cabins, um, which are right at the same price. And they're mm -hmm. the more wood ones that you see on top of the hill. Mm -hmm. um, our other facilities are lodge, and it's the larger one. It's two twenty five a night. Um, but what's good about that is we have a lot of people that meet halfway and get it. It ranges around 225 a night, but it sleeps 15 people. Okay, so speaking about the CCC, I understand yeah. the store has some history behind it, right? For the yeah. CCC. Yeah, actually, it's really cool to, to have a store. I know it's transformed over the years from a original bathhouse um, to a store, dining hall, restroom. Of course, this facility is a civilian conservation corp structure mm -hmm. built in the um, early to mid 30s. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been used for, for many, many years. Um, in 2011, um, the park had a major renovation. Um, we renovated the boathouse, the, the park store. Um, did quite a bit of renovation on these, mm -hmm. um, a lot on the structure. Um, so maybe I can show y'all later. We can go in the dining hall and I can show you some of the yeah. original blueprints. I would love that. Um, and how these guys with this minimal equipment um, can make a structure like that. And we'll show you the kind of the stars. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people like to take photos through the stars, mm -hmm. which, which were formed through the concrete that they use. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's really neat how it dates back. A lot of these rocks that you see just behind us are all 
planted by the CCC. So uh, Ranger King, I understand uh, we were out on the pier earlier and saw some catfish being caught yeah. out there. So tell us about that. So every fall the fisheries come out and stock the catfish. Every January we have our trout stocking. We do a, huh. a kid fish mm -hmm. early, latter part of January actually. And fun. It's, it's really fun. Yeah. Um, we just, see a lot of catfish, but also mm -hmm. a lot of chain pickerel. So a lot of people don't see chain pickerel. They're really abundance in this park. I don't think I even know. I've yeah. never, what is a chain pickerel? It's, I mean, it has teeth. It's kind of it looks similar to a pike. We have a boat ramp actually. Mm -hmm. So we have quite a bit of boats to put out. It's mm -hmm. a idle only lake, mm -hmm. but it's really good fishing, good bass fishing. You get, there's a lot of lily pads, mm -hmm. a lot of structure. Mm -hmm. um, and we have, if y'all notice, we have canoes, we have kayaks, right. paddle boards, mm -hmm. and paddle boats. Mm -hmm. So that, um, we have roughly 15 paddle boats and they stay busy during the summer. You'll mm -hmm. see see a lot of people and a lot of interest with the kayaks as well. Of course, and uh, we were watching some videos and this is supposed to be one of the most beautiful parks for turning leaves. It is. Yeah, yes. we have a lot of people already calling us, you know, kind of asking like, when's the peak? Is it mm -hmm. latter October? Mm -hmm. Is it early November? Um, and it's kind of varies because... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, so I under, uh, so earlier, Karen and I were exploring your swimming area. It's yeah. It's so nice. Tell us yeah. about that. Actually, with the Little Pine Lake, it's uh -huh. 80-acre lake. Uh -huh. It's spring-fed. So right. it, with it being spring-fed, it really actually is very clear water. Right. Um, so during the summer, it's it's kind of the mer the best pastime in, in mm -hmm. I would say, Morris County. We get a lot of visitors. So we discovered that over mm -hmm. here. Oh, excuse me. So earlier we discovered that there's an actual original state park CCC yeah. sign. Yeah, there yeah. is. Tell us about that. Yeah, actually you'll see it um, coming into our day use swimming area. You look to the right, right past the cabin one. Mm -hmm. And that's the original sign um, mm -hmm. in the early 30s. So that mm -hmm. sign was actually up front it was moved to its current location. Mm -hmm. um, I think when they were building the highway, stretching the highway, right. it was kind of unsafe area up there mm -hmm. by the roadway. Right. Mm -hmm. so, okay, Ranger King, as usual, here comes some uh -oh. rapid fire questions, brother. All right, uh -oh. you ready, man? I hope so. Here we we'll go. See. Favorite color? Blue. Oh, nice. Not green. Most were green. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. favorite ice cream? Um, cookies and cream. Oh, nice one. Favorite? Hamburger, um, double meat, cheese, jalapenos. Yummy. And what's my name? Mark Bailey. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and what? And and uh, you put me there. And and, and, and. Carrie. Carrie. Yeah, right. <laughs> How did I forget Carrie? <laughs> hey man, it's thanks you. so I much. Say, yeah, <laughs> thanks, brother. Hey, thank y'all very we much. We certainly appreciate you, man. We thank y'all for coming. Bet you, man. Thank y'all. Need anything? Let us know. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey guys, we are at the, where? Dangerfield Days. Dangerfield Days, it's gonna be fun. to take a little hike on the rustling leaves trail this is a nice trail beautiful day hmm didn't get any prettier than this we'll show you the big pine camp loop where you have like your own path down to the water here in a second so here's the example of the big pine camping loop and this is an example of the trail that goes down to the lake for you 
So it's definitely awesome. Okay, go. Just a little glimpse of the dogwood camping area. These all have full hookups. The weekend we were here, there's like six or eight casitas all in a little group camping together. It's kind of funny. We're coming into the big pine camping loop. All of these are pull throughs, just super nice. On this right side, There's no lake, like a lake access. On this side of the big pond, they're all lake access. There's little trails that go down to the lake. Put your kayaks in, whatever. Super pretty, yeah, these go quick. Full through, full hookups, and lake access. That's pretty much the top three criteria for a lot of people, I would imagine. There you can see the lake really well right there. It's beautiful. Ridge. This is the Cedar Ridge camping area. These are all tents. There's a lot of little Boy Scouts here this weekend. I think there's water hookups. Yeah, there are water hookups here. And this is the Mountain View camping area. Is this tent only? No, I don't think it's tent only. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, there's no, there's a couple campers. I just kind of give you an idea. I think there's four main camping areas. We'll try to remember and show you on the map. So here's the dogwood camping area. Kind of give you an idea. It's big pine. Okay, we were telling you they're all pull throughs, which is awesome. There's only 10 of them though. I think they stay booked quite a bit. The Cedar Ridge and Mountain View are really close to each other. Cedar Ridge is only tents, and Mountain View is um, campers. Hey guys, I'm Carrie. I'm Mark. We are at Dangerfield. I'm yelling. 